Hey there, welcome to the new video series for Shopify function. Every year I have a plan to make a new video series. Last year we focused on Shopify Remix and building a practical app and going through 24 videos of building a sh fully functional Shopify app using Remix. This year I have planned to focus on some advanced topic, starting with Shopify function. Function is an important topic in the future of commerce and how you can um, customize and change the backend logic of Shopify. I have been working with Function in the past six months and we built our uh, first Shopify app. It went live a few days ago. It is called PowerX Shopify Function. I'm happy to share all my experience throughout the process of building different types of function and how you can build your own app. This video series or any other video series, if you have watched my videos, are a step-by-step -step guide and building a practical app. It will be the same for Shopify Functions. First, we learn the step-by-step -step of how function works. Then we are going to build a practical app. So throughout this series, you will also understand how, which language to pick, going with Rust or JavaScript, which one is suitable. In most cases, you will go with JavaScript. In some other cases, you will select Rust. Why do you go with the Rust and how you build your code in Rust also? So there is a lot to cover in this video series. If you haven't watched previous videos, you can check them out on YouTube for Shopify Remix because we are not going to focus on some of the basic thing. Most of the things that we are going to focus will be some advanced topic. If you don't want to mess around the Shopify function, you can install our app. It is very powerful. It will help you generate any type of function you want. With all the uh, functionality, you have different uh, qualifier. This is not a promotion that I show in the beginning of the video, but you can check this app for free and install it and use it in your store. Um, all you have to do is understand how function work in my app, then you can build your own app. And if you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. This is like the something that I rarely tell people. But if you are uh, not on YouTube, you can um, connect on Twitter and get update for any new videos that I share uh, weekly. So we are going to focus on more advanced topic around Shopify, Shopify functions and Shopify admin stuff like that in this series. But if you have any question, you can always reach out to me. Thank you.